Hello, this is Megan from Re-Revivals. Thank you for joining us for a review of Valspar Project Perfect Paint and Valspar Cabinet Enamel. If you have any questions, please feel free to message us or leave them in the comments section. Thank you very much and happy DIYing. We had a chest up in my toddler's room that I had been meaning to refinish. It had a broken drawer and had had a broken drawer since we got it about a year ago and decided it would be a great piece to use for this review. This $350 chest on Etsy by Noteworthy really became my inspiration for this piece. As you can see in the picture on the right, we have not added any hardware yet, but I do see it going in that direction. And we did go ahead and remove two of our drawers and add a shelf, just to make it a little bit more functional to be able to use it in other spaces as well. This chest is a mix of wood and veneer. You can see the original on the left. In the middle is the sanded version. I used an 80 grit sandpaper and was a little gentler on the areas of it that were veneer. And then I primed it with this Bullseye 2 multi-purpose high hiding formula primer, which is also a bonding primer. And you can check out my review of this primer on our YouTube channel or on our website for more information on its application. While I don't have as much experience with Valspar products as I do with some other paint lines, I was at Lowe's for a different project and saw a great color in a mist tint of the Valspar cabinet enamel and decided to pick it up. A typical gallon at my local Lowe's of this cabinet enamel is $50, or you can buy it by the court for about $25. Now, if you purchase a gallon, though, that does break down to about $12.50 a quart. I did some Googling and looked at some Etsy images and found that $350 Etsy chest. So I decided to do a blue and white project and purchased one quart of this Valspar Project Perfect in white for $9.78. This does have a satin finish to it, unlike the cabinet enamel, which is a semi-gloss. Both of these products have three to three and a half stars at Valspar.com, and both of them had mixed reviews. Since these paints have different bases, they did go on differently as well. The Valspar Project Perfect was definitely a thinner paint and the enamel was definitely thicker. The Project Perfect, I rolled on a first coat and used my polyester brush for trim pieces and edging. It took two coats and I was able to do the second coat right after the first, although I did try to do a pretty heavy first coat without it being too heavy. Um, but it did roll on like a typical latex paint. Um, the cabinet enamel, I started brushing and putting it on pretty thick, and I quickly went to a roller, and it rolled out really well. Um, I did a light second coat right after the first, and actually it went on like butter with a roller, especially that second coat. Since the top was going to get more wear and tear, I decided to do a very light third coat on the top, and did just a 400 grit really light sand before that third coat. The cabinet enamel, as you can see, did go on quite a bit darker than it ended up being. Um, although it looks like a navy in some lights and it looked like a navy or even a grayish navy going on, it dried to a really cool um, cobalty navy color. The results are in, and I may be in love with this cabinet enamel. It had great coverage. I think I would have been completely fine with two coats. It feels really hardy. Once it has completely cured, which takes about 24 hours, you can actually feel the protection that it has without any added poly or any added lacquer. Um, it had a beautiful finish. Even though I felt like I could see brush strokes while it was going on, it did self-level quite well and had a beautiful finish. I think it's worth the money. On the other hand, I did not feel like the Valspar Project Perfect was worth the money. I ended up being very disappointed in it. As it was going on, it looked like it was covering okay, but once it dried, I could definitely see an unevenness in the coverage, even though I had primed it well and even though I had done two good coats. Um, it did easily scratch as well. I ended up having to touch it up after putting the drawers and the shelf back in, and I was happy that it dried quickly, but I had an average finish and again, even though it was a satin, I felt like I could see some unevenness in that finish. I would personally spend the money, spend a couple more bucks on a court, and upgrade to a better product. So my final thoughts are prep 
prep, prep your surface. Make sure you're sanding, make sure you're priming with a quality primer, and don't forget to check out my video on the Zenzer Bullseye 2 High Hiding Formula. Make sure that you're doing a light sand when you need, and make sure you're using a quality paint. Although the Project Perfect is the first time I have returned paint, I am so happy with the Valspar Cabinet Enamel that I also did this little nightstand that I dug out of our garage, and then I did this adorable dresser for my son's room that used to match this chest, and I am so happy with it. I'm excited. I hope that someone calls me soon to do an entire kitchen using this cabinet enamel. If you have any questions, as always, message me or feel free to leave a comment, and we will get back to you. Thanks again, and happy DIYing.